I'm Derek Frampton, taxidermist. So Derek, you've, you've done quite a lot of work for us for the World of Wallace project. Um, so if we start off perhaps uh, just chatting about our friend the Flamingo here. Well, the specimen had obviously fallen over at some stage in the past and the glass had broken and the bird had fallen forward and its legs had come loose and everything had got very, very dirty over the years. So it obviously happened a long time ago. So it, it basically involved removing the bird, um, cleaning it meticulously with compressed air and then um, with a vacuum cleaner. And then replacing the um, wires that held, um, hold the legs in position and then sorting out the frame which has got quite a few cracks in it. It's quite quite difficult to repair because it's it's a wooden frame covered in gesso. So can you just explain what, what this object actually is because it's not immediately it's, obvious. <laughs> it's a fire screen. So it's for it would be placed in front of a fire opening in the summer when the fires weren't lit and would just cover up the opening and it's quite appropriate because the flamingo is the phoenix bird. Right. Um, but it's, it's the only one I've ever seen like this. I mean, I've seen drawings of them, but they, it's very rare for them to survive. This is our great hornbill. Yes. Um, and he had a sort of similar problem, didn't he, to the flamingo? Yes. He, his glass on the case was broken and um, it had been exposed to some damp at some stage because there was a lot of mould on the legs and it was basically a dust problem again. So the, the mould on the legs was sorted out and a general clean and tidy up. Um, a little bit of work to the, the top where it had been moved and people had handled it and the, the colour on the inside is painted on with distemper, which is um, quite easily damaged when you touch it. Um, and then the whole case was reglazed and taped in the original manner, which is um, a paper tape, which is shellacked, which seals it, and then the paint is applied over the top to make it airtight. That's great. Um, so this is one of our more unusual <coughs> specimens mm -hmm. which, which you've um, looked after for yes. us. This is the horseshoe crab. Um, when I received it, it was in a number of pieces. It obviously been broken at some, so it was a question of reattaching all the pieces and then cleaning it. And it, it's come up very well because it, mm. it was very, very dirty before. Um, so it, although there's a few claws missing, most of it's there, even though it was in several pieces. And it's turned out to be quite a nice specimen. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes. So um, the next step um, is this swan. That's right. And um, Derek's going to be taking this away today and working his magic. Yes. Um, so what, what sort of work are we going to have to do here, Derek? Well, first of all, it, it wants going over and with a vacuum and removing all the dust and seeing what's underneath. There's certain parts, like the legs are a little bit loose. Um, and there's a little bit of mould on the webbing needs sorting out. Um, the beak wants a good clean to uncover the, the colours that are underneath all the years of grime. Um, the back of the case and the sides, all the cracks need filling because obviously over the years the wood shrunk and it's, it can let creepy crawlies in once it's all sealed up. So all that needs filling and sealing up again. That's a real danger for us, the pests, isn't that it? It is, yes, yes. Get you, in. Yes, you don't want creepy crawlies getting in and destroying the specimen after all these years. So, 
you know, these, these little bits like these iron wires that are sticking out, they just want clipping off. And um, a new fascia board making on the front mm -hmm. and reglazed. It, it should come up very nicely. Oh, well, we're really looking forward to seeing yes. it. Thank you very much, Derek. And um, we will be posting up a picture of the swan when it returns.